She's the Stanford woman who finished top 10 at the Miss America pageant. That's when we last sat down with Miss Connecticut Caitlin Tarpey. After she returned from the competition, now she's back here with us today to talk about her journey as the 2013 contender representing the Nutmeg State. Caitlin, thanks for joining Yay, us today. Thank you so much for having Glad me. Glad to have you back here. I'm excited to be here. So you finished your year as Miss Connecticut. I know that you did a lot and it's hard to summarize, but if you had to summarize your year, how would you do that? Oh, one word to summarize my year, exhilarating. I think that would be the word choice. It was exhausting, but so much fun. I put over 27,000 miles on my Miss Connecticut car. I touched lives that I wouldn't have ever been able to have touched uh, otherwise. So it was really, really great, but definitely exhilarating. And if you had to pick your top three favorite moments as Miss Connecticut. <laughs> oh gosh, besides making top 10 at Miss America, um, my three favorite moments. So I work with a program called Skiers Unlimited, and it's a program with the Connecticut Children's Medical Center in Hartford. And every Friday in January and February, I went and taught a special needs child how to ski. And my skier was on the autism spectrum, but we created such a bond that by the end of the two months, he said, oh, Caitlin, I'll see you in 10 months. And he's looking forward to skiing with me again in January. So that was a really great moment because I saw the impact I had uh, over the span of two months on one child and it was very very special to me um, and I love to ski so it was great. Another favorite appearance oh, was definitely doing Stanford's Dancing with the Stars. The actual night was great but that was another thing that spanned across a few months and the Arthur Murray Dance Studio in uh, Greenwich was so nice to me and Moises was my dance partner and he's become one of my very close friends so that was super cool and it was something that I always wanted to do growing up so I told myself that if I were to ever win Miss Connecticut I would try to finagle my way into being a star and Dancing with the <laughs> Stars and so I succeeded and that was a lot of fun and you're a dancer so well but very different yeah. than salsa dancing right. can I tell you Moises had a very hard time trying to untrain me from my Irish dancing like straight up and square -ness. He had to break that mold. Oh, and it was hard. I mean, like, it, very, very hard. But now I, I can say that I know how to salsa and rumba and cha-cha, and my hips move a little bit <laughs> more, more nicely. <laughs> so um, that was a lot of fun, and it was just a good experience for me as a person. And then my third favorite moment. This is so hard. I'm sure it's hard. I know there's a lot. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, actually, you know what was really wonderful is I was able to visit the Sandy Hook Elementary School students. And I had two family members in that school. And that's really the only reason I was allowed in there because they, they are very protective of, of our children, which is wonderful. But the fact that they allowed me to go into that school in my crown and sash and speak with those children and just put smiles on their faces was so wonderful. Um, that was, I think, just a pinnacle moment in realizing the power of being Miss Connecticut and, and uh, how wonderful it can be just to make somebody a little bit happier. And another thing close to your heart is veterans, mm -hmm. right? That was your platform. Yep. So speak to that a little bit and your advocacy work in the past year. Two of the organizations I really loved working with and I will continue to work with are Soldier Socks and Homes for the Brave. And actually two days after I crowned Acacia Courtney, I was at a Homes for the Brave golf tournament playing golf. I'm not very good, but I'm trying. <laughs> playing golf for Homes for the Brave and the brotherhood and sisterhood, I guess, of the people who advocate for veterans in the state of Connecticut is very small. And so it's been really nice for me to make those relationships and maintain those relationships past my reign because I know that I'll be involved with many of these organizations for the rest of my life and um, I'm just really excited now to be able to go enjoy and enjoy the fundraisers <laughs> as opposed to working them. <laughs> Why did you pick that as your platform? I had an uncle who served overseas and when he returned home he was having a little bit of difficulty reacclimating back into society so I started really educating myself on veterans issues and what I learned was that Americans are not a aware of what veterans go through and how we can help on an individual level. So it started as something to help my family and help my uncle, but it turned into something much bigger than I would have ever imagined. But I'm, I'm very, very lucky to have made an impact on more than just my uncle's life. Now recently you turned the crown over to Acacia Courtney, right? So yeah. what was that like? What was that moment like? 
I was ready for that moment. It was weird. I, I would be Miss Connecticut forever if I could. I really would. I loved the job. I loved what, what it makes me do on a daily basis. Um, but I was so happy with my year and I was so content with how I left my reputation on that stage. Uh, I didn't cry. I wasn't, you know, upset. I was so happy for Acacia and I think she'll be a great representative. And I'm excited to go and support her in Atlantic City in September. Um, but it was just one of those moments where you realize Miss Connecticut is a wonderful thing, but it, it's, it doesn't define who I am. And there's so much more to Caitlin than Miss Connecticut. And I'm just really excited to start this next chapter of my life and go back to school and um, maybe even get some time to like go on dates and be a normal 22 year old. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it just, it was somber. Like I was just very okay with it. Uh, and Acacia, like I said, will be wonderful. And I'm just excited now to follow her and, and be her right-hand lady as she goes through this. That's great. And your mother, she started Miss Stanford. Yes, yes. The mom who tried to talk me out of competing for Miss Connecticut <laughs> has started a Miss Stanford organization. And anyone is allowed to compete in the Miss Stanford pageant, which will be held in October. They can go and find the Miss Stanford organization on Facebook. And uh, hopefully we can get a future Miss Connecticut from the Stanford or Fairfield County area, which would be really cool. Uh, but I'm really proud of my mother for starting that pageant. And that will be a great way for us to leave our legacy in the Miss America organization. And if you want to stay posted about what Caitlin is up to, you can follow her on Facebook and Twitter, and we'll have those links posted on our website. Thank you so much for joining us Thank today. Thank you. Yeah.